Today's job is to make a riser block to lift this entire splash guard up a couple of inches and also to move the splash guard towards the front of the machine an inch and a half, uh, roughly. And that's just to allow clearance for larger work pieces. I have a job coming up that's going to need the gap removed and uh, I need the clearance. So I've got a piece of material and it's time to get this done so that it's just done. I've got my block of aluminiumized aluminum here for the riser and I've got a three quarter inch end mill which is just has just long enough flutes to clean up the sawn sides so that's what's next. Now, yeah. ninth hour over. And for that part, that would be a plus or minus 20 part on that length. So, good enough. Just for the hell of it, on the last pass, I sprayed uh, some WD-40 on it as a lubricant slash coolant. And uh, service finished like, uh, that's really good. Looks like I got a little bit of a tramming issue. It's worse at this end, so I'm not sure what does that mean. Yeah, I have to figure that out. It's not it's not bad. I was going for 1.187. Well 1.188 I guess. So we'll take that for something as non-critical as this. Sweet. <clears throat> I use a big loop of spring steel there because it covers a wide distance but will still squash up nicely. So let's just make sure we're chip free in there. Next stage is some holes through the top.
a lot more clearance on that now easily able to get the a full diameter in there and more clearance for the carriage here we are here's why I wanted to do this yeah very nice these D15 face plates are quite difficult to find I know Precision Matthews has one with their 14 inch lathes but theirs is not as nice a face plate as this one I've got this used from um, what's that place that Mr. Pete likes Swan Valley machine or something like that I'll look it up and I'll put a link but this was a really good find and I'm going to use this I need to turn a 16 inch diameter piece here so the gap is going to have to come out and this is what's going to be used to mount it Got one of these so it doesn't fall out there we are clearance we have clearance clearance one thing about making these kind of modifications is that there are just knock-on effects now that now that this is higher it interferes with my chuck key so i'm going to have to make a longer chuck key because it's just awkward so i make make a key that's going to go longer and not interfere which is a, an easy task i suppose that will be a video <clears throat> i don't leave my chuck key in here by the way like i did on my christmas video it lives over here <clears throat> other thing i have to do is uh make a new splash guard to come all the way over here and drop further down and I knew I was going to want to do that that's not really a knock-on effect I knew that was going to be a part of it that will be a sheet metal part and uh, hopefully have clear windows in it so that's coming too um, this is all needed so that I can put larger diameter pieces in here when I stop screwing around, I actually make proper parts. And I'll show you what the first big job is. This is the first big job. 16 inch diameter, two and a half inch thick, 316 stainless steel. And these are gonna be turned into wheel spacers for a tractor. And uh, I'm going to need to pull the gap out in order to turn these. So these will be, they're, they're not a particularly complicated part. Uh, but they're certainly going to push my mill and lathe to the extents of their travel. So that's coming up. <laughs> 